Hey everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to our daily devotional. Today we're starting a series on the letter of 1 Corinthians. Now since we're reading a letter, it's important for us to remember that we're literally reading somebody else's mail, which generally is frowned upon, but we kind of make an exception for the Bible. And so when we realize that, we learn that this was not written to us, but we do believe that it's written for us. You know, it's like we're hearing half of a conversation. You know, if someone else is on the phone and you're picking up what they're saying, but you kind of have to guess what the other side is saying. And, and we're trying to figure out with this letter, okay, what did the Corinthians say to Paul? What were they doing? What had Paul already taught them? What could they both take for granted? And doesn't need to be written in this letter. And so if we're going to make sense of First Corinthians, for us, we have to understand who these people were and what they were going through and, and some of the ways maybe that they were thinking. You know, as we're looking at all of the issues and all the things that they're kind of getting wrong, we still have to assume that in some way they thought what they were doing fit with the gospel. Um, you know, we want to assume that they're not just evil, that they're not just trying to do the bad, bad things, do whatever they want, but they do actually have reasons for doing what they do as a church. Maybe that some of those reasons are bad and selfish and wrong, but they have the reasons, just like we do when we uh, do things that aren't exactly what we should be doing. Like I said, this isn't written to us, and we want to understand Corinth, but it is written for us because we believe that it's Scripture. And one of the reasons that we still find this book incredibly relevant today is that human nature, the fact that we use selfish reasoning, that we make bad arguments, uh, in a lot of ways that doesn't change much 2,000 years later. But who are the Corinthians? Uh, what's going on in this city? Well, Corinth was a port city in what we now call Greece, and so it was pretty wealthy, a lot of traffic, people coming through. It's a very Greek city, both in its idolatry, its, its worship, and its philosophy, the way that they thought, their culture. Now, there was some Jewish population. Uh, when Paul visits there, you see that story in Acts chapter 18. He goes to the Jewish people, but doesn't have a lot of success. Uh, and so this church that he forms is both Jewish and, and Greek. He's there for a year and a half, Acts tells us, and he establishes probably a lot of house churches. You know, again, an assumption we have to remember, they didn't have church buildings, they met in people's homes, and there wasn't a lot of, of people you could have in a single house. And so all these people are new to Christianity because Christianity is new. The Jewish people are familiar with their scriptures, uh, but for the Greek people that came in, all of this is pretty new and different. Paul sent them at least one letter. He mentioned that in chapter 5, which we don't have. And then they sent him a letter, which he mentions in chapter 7. But at the same time, uh, Chloe's people, he says, came to tell Paul what's really going on and maybe explain some of their questions a little more. And so that's when Paul writes what we have and call 1 Corinthians. So knowing all of this, well, what kind of conflicts do you think they're going to be dealing with? You've got ethnic conflicts or racial conflicts between Jews and Gentiles. You've got socioeconomic conflicts between rich and poor, people with high status or no status. There's differences in cultural values, you know, for the Greeks, for the Jews, uh, how they understand the body of the material world. And so, again, based on those, the conflicts that they had are still pretty similar to what we have. It may come out in different ways, but it's based on some of the same things. And so for them and for us, what we're going to see is that the cross and the resurrection of Christ are the foundation as we work through the issues we're dealing with, just like Paul does as he works through their issues. So as we think about the cross and the resurrection in 1 Corinthians, how are they going to challenge the way that we think and the way that we act? Hope you're excited.